Welcome to the McCavity Arms tutorial series. In this episode, we'll guide you step-by-step -step through replacing the updated air cylinder and regulator chamber on the MA-2 PCP air rifle. Before assembling or disassembling a PCP air rifle, please always ensure the air rifle is completely uncharged, keep the safety on, and never point the muzzle at anyone. Now let's start by degassing the air gun. Locate the degas screw at the bottom of the rifle. Using a 2.5 mm Allen key, slowly turn the screw counterclockwise. Do not remove the screw completely. Excessive loosening could cause it to eject under pressure, leading to serious injury. You should hear a hissing sound as the air escapes. Wait patiently until the pressure gauge reads zero. Once fully depressurized, gently retighten the degas screw. Step 2. Remove the polymer main stock. Using a 4 mm Allen key, unscrew the main stock bolt located at the bottom of the polymer stock. Once the bolt is removed, lift the breech upward and forward to separate the rifle assembly from the stock. Now, let's remove the barrel band. First, remove the protective fitting cap. Then, use a 3 mm Allen key to loosen the central screw on the barrel band. Switch to a 2 mm Allen key and loosen the two side screws located at the base of the barrel band. These screws do not need to be fully removed. Just loosen them enough to free the barrel band. Slide the barrel band off the barrel and air cylinder. Step 4. Unscrew both pressure gauges counterclockwise. You can do this by hand or with a 24 mm wrench if needed. Next, unscrew the inlet valve block from the front of the air cylinder. Finally, remove the air cylinder assembly by turning it counterclockwise until it detaches from the rifle. Set all components aside in a clean, organized space for reassembly later. Step 5. Take out the aluminum spacer. Then insert a long, soft-tipped rod, such as the MA2 barrel or the back of a long screwdriver, into the front opening of the air cylinder. Gently push the rod to eject the regulator from the rear of the cylinder. Then carefully remove the regulator from the chamber using gloved hands or a soft-jawed plier. Take extra care not to scratch or damage the surfaces of the regulator. Inspect the O-rings carefully for any signs of damage or wear. If you notice any cracks or deformation, replace it with a new O-ring from the included repair kit. Apply a very thin layer of silicone oil around the O-rings on the regulator. Now, gently insert the regulator into the new regulator chamber until fully seated. Step 7. Apply a thin film of lubricant grease to each O-ring before assembly to ensure a proper seal and ease of threading. Now, thread the components, including the regulator chamber, the main air cylinder, and the inlet valve block together firmly by hand. Make sure the pressure gauge ports on both the regulator chamber and inlet valve block are aligned, facing the same direction. These joints do not need to be fully bottomed out. The system will self-seal under air pressure. Finally, attach the entire assembly to the main body of the rifle, keeping the gauge ports on the side of the rifle, ideally on the original side for best visibility and ergonomics. If needed, back out the threads slightly, just enough to align the gauges in the desired orientation while still ensuring everything is secure and properly seated. Step 8. Reinstall the gauges. Start by placing the O-ring from the package onto the regulator gauge. Then, thread the gauge into its port by hand, turning it clockwise until it's seated. Once the gauge is seated, use a wrench to tighten it securely. Do not over-tighten, just firm enough to ensure a good seal and prevent any air leaks. Repeat the process for the second gauge and make sure both are properly aligned and secure before moving on. Step 9. Slide the barrel band back into position over the barrel and air cylinder. Before tightening the screws, it's important to align the barrel and air cylinder properly to ensure consistent accuracy. Cock the rifle once by pulling and returning the charging handle and make sure the safety is engaged. Connect a filling source and charge the rifle to around 2,000 PSI or 140 bars. 
Listen carefully to any hissing sounds or signs of air leakage at the connection points. If leakage is detected, safely discharge the air, inspect the connections, and reseat the components. If there's no air leak, proceed to tighten the barrel band screws to lock in alignment for optimal performance. Tighten them in this order. First, the center screw using a 3mm Allen key, then the two side grub screws using a 2mm Allen key. Ensure all screws are snug and secure. Final step, replace the fitting protection cap. Carefully insert the rifle assembly back into the polymer stock, making sure everything is properly aligned. Then, reinstall the stock screw using a 4mm Allen key and tighten it securely. Your MA2 has now been successfully upgraded with the new air cylinder and regulator system. Before using or storage the rifle, please double check all components are secure, uncock the rifle and engage the safety. If you encounter any difficulties during this process or have any technical questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. We are always happy to assist you with guidance and support. Enjoy your upgraded MA2 in the field or on your next hunt 